Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and I've got my craft stuff out, my little craft kit, because this week I'm going to be reviewing Lucid Dream by Sandmines. So this is the internet's finest uh, magic review show. Of course, I'm slightly biased. Uh, but if you like it, please do press like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications. Uh, and I'd love you if you go and check out carmagiccourse.com, which is my online car magic course, which I've been building for years and I'm very proud of it. But let's get on with the review. Uh, so a card gets chosen. Um, you show a picture of a playing card. You put your hand behind it and you pull the card out of the picture. So the first thing to say about this, that is really cool. I mean, it looks really cool. And the barometer for me is always my girlfriend, Jo. And I just said, hey, look at this bat. And she went, wow, that was cool. It was a real surprise. And, and fans' minds are quite good at that, aren't they? It's eye candy. You know, you see something you're completely not expecting. And it makes you go, wow. So I've got to say, as in the trailer, it's all pretty accurate. It does look like that. And it looks great. So if you want something that looks great, absolutely go for it but let's talk about the other stuff there, there's the creation part of it and it's fine it's quite an enjoyable process you sit down you make it i it, it says 15 minutes gotta be careful i just couldn't find one of the there's little magnets that you get and i realize it's stuck to my scissors so you you got to do uh you just double check everything because you get one again like with vending machine you get one um Sorry, you get one gimmick, you know, and, and there's a bit where you've got to score the gimmick with a knife and I nearly, well, I didn't nearly, but I could have very easily, had I been thinking about other stuff, uh, cut the thing in half and therefore not had a gimmick anymore, which would have been a proper ball ache. So I've completed my gimmick in 27 minutes. I did mess up a bit of it, so it's not its not too bad. I'm getting a bit bored of it now. Um, I don't like double-sided sticky tape when there's loads of it. It upsets me. It all gets everywhere. And I, look, so I, get it, I get it all over myself. I don't know where the magnets have gone. I've got i have got spoil, four little tiny spare magnets somewhere. There's, oh, well, they're all... Well, there's three of them. I don't know where the other one is. That's, I've picked it up on something metallic somewhere, no doubt. Is it? Uh, so I do need all four of these other magnets and I don't know where they are. Uh, so I have lost a magnet, I've tidied up everything. I've got three left, I need four. Oh, it's so tiny, you know what I mean? But I don't know where it could have gone. I've, I've looked at all my metal things. So there's a bit near the end, I've got, I'm doing it with three mag, I haven't got all of them, all the things. There's a bit near the end, but if, you, and if you've got like piggy fingers like me, it's, uh, it's quite, oh mate, it's quite fiddly. I've made everything, it took an hour, right? It took an hour, get, let's be very generous and take 25 minutes off of that. That's how long it's gonna take, it. for me, for me. And I'm, cam I'm quite clumsy. What do I think of the gimmick? Uh, the gimmick that I've made, um, it looks okay. I, well, I'll show you what it looks like when it's made up, all right? So there it is. So it looks all right. Now at close inspection, I can see a fold there and I can see some reinforced tape around that fold which you put on. Now that does not mean that a spectator is gonna go see it because they see like the hole, don't they? They don't see the little details that we see because we know they're there. It looks, I'm not that crafty. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm quite handy, but it looks a little bit tatty. That I can already see marks where the, I'm just being as honest as I can, I already see marks where the sort of magnets, because I've glued the thing together, they're kind of, the shape of them is showing through. Do you know what I mean? You see, you see it on the thing. Um, none of the, you know, none of this is going to detract from that moment, I don't think, which I haven't tried yet. The I've practiced it a couple of times and it, I think it looks okay. I'm, I'm not that confident with it. Um, I think the main movement isn't too difficult. Uh, it's going, oh man, it's, 
let me play with it. Now I'm going to play because I've just improvised. I haven't actually watched the, the handling, so I'm going to watch the handling. Come back to you. No one's making that in 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure the running time of the real time. Well, actually, it's not real time. It's it's cut was more than 15 minutes. So I'll be amazed if you make this in 15 minutes, unless you're Tony Hart. I'm 46 years old. No one's going to get that reference. It does take a little bit of practice. The, but I don't mind that. That's okay. And I even lost a bit, but that's okay. I'm an idiot. Don't know where it went. I'm sure. And it works. But the problem is it just looks a bit rubbish. This looks... And it's not... It's a personal thing, all right? It, like, if I get that out, do the trick, do the card thing, and if I do it now, I'll get it wrong. There we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, it, it looks fine. But it's just a bit flimsy, isn't it? And if I'd have bought this from a shop as the prop, and I saw the prop and bought it, got it, and did it, looked at it, I'd go, oh, come on, guys, you're going to make an effort. And that's not that I built this, all right? But I'm, my feeling is that if you're like me and you're not ultra, ultra arty, then it might, it's going to look a bit tatty. There are gimmicks involved here that are already showing through. It's, if I put this in my close-up case, after a few weeks, it's going to be non-existent. It's just a little bit bitty. So that's my big, my, probably my biggest problem with it, with it is how it kind of feels and looks and you know if I, but it but it is gonna get a really good re response it's also angly in the way that you know when you show this like that and just before you do the trick you can't show the back of it which is fine i think if you just look around and make sure and hold it down a little bit you can still do the thing um but it's it's gonna take a bit of thought also it's gonna take a bit of practice it is knacky Okay, it's not hard, but it is knacky. Like the bit I did at the beginning took me about five takes to do because I'm holding it at a different angle and it's just, and, and it's one of those tricks, if you get it wrong, the whole thing's blown. And a lot of tricks are like that, so that's fine. But don't think, you, you, you can't cover this with an out. If you sort of get that wrong and it just, <laughs> it's just gonna look awful. Welcome to Real Magic Review and this here is Lucid Dream. <laughs> so worth knowing, doesn't take it away from the effect, but the whole process and the whole thing for me isn't really something I'm going to start exploring more. It's perfect for social media. It's great for telly, but unfortunately, TV rights not included, as with Sans Minds. I'm not gonna, that's up to them, uh, but just be aware of it. But social media, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something. If you want to take it out and show people, you're going to get loads of hits on social media because it does look amazing. It looks great. So it's, it's 33, about, about 33 quid um, on average. And even though people have said the reason it's all DIY and you, you, you put it together yourself is, is so they can keep costs down, that's not really keeping costs down that much, is it? I mean, 30, 33 quid for a quick effect, I don't think is that cheap. And to be honest, I do, part of me does with this, it's like, oh, come on, guys, just make it. I just put, put an extra tenner on it and, and make a nice quality prop that I'll get home and then I'll just be able to start practicing with it. But that's my preference. Like I said, it's not an unenjoyable process doing it, but it's got to be a, a good effect for me to put, put the time in. Uh, so, Lucid Dream, available everywhere, 33 quid. Thanks very much. Please comment, please, if you've taken this out and had great success with it, which I no doubt some people have, um, do let me know. Or if you've had problems with it, let me know because you'll, you know, I'm not take, I'm not going to take this out anymore, but I'm sure you have, and I'd love to hear your stories. Uh, so please check out carmagiccourse.com. Uh, please like and subscribe and please share. Thank you very, very much. Have a great one. Bye.